Hello and welcome to another video in the beginner series for Gaia. Today we will be making our terrain and we will start constructing it and then texture it. So the basic terrain that we are going to make today will have let's say a mountain and uh, some rivers. So first we will start with the most basic. Let's take a mountain node. So this is the mountain we have and if you don't like the shape of mountain you can always change the seed and have a different mountain around here. If you change the edge around here so if you see right here it will start pulling it back in and it will have like a mask around here which will make it shorter and shorter the more we increase the edge slider. So we have a small edge around here. Now we'll take a fold node and start folding the mountain a little bit before let's bulk it up so if you click bulky then it will the mountain shape will look like this it will bulk up the terrain uh, we can control the height from here so we don't want it to bulk up that much so usually when you start uh, creating any terrain before we apply erosion it has to have a lot of bulk in it so that erosion can cut through it and then uh, refine the final shape as we move on. So our initial terrain will be bulky. We apply a fold to it and what fold does is it uh, makes these natural fold type structures around here. If we up the raise a little you can see it better. So this is what's happening. This is the mountain and it is applying these uh, foldings. You can change the angle to get an interesting angle. Uh, here you can move the lighting. Let's go with this one. Uh, we can change the folding around here so it will fold more. Here in the post process stack, you can choose all the different post process if you want to apply. So let's say we apply max to it. So what max will do is uh, it will take the folding and the node before it and choose the brighter pixel of the two. The min, then get the minimum of the two. I think we'll just stick with the normal. Now let's apply shear to it so that it will shear it a little bit around the areas. So if you see the difference, it's shearing it a little. It's also applying a little bit of folding around here. Let's apply terraces to it. So what fractal terraces does is it applies uh, sort of these uh, terraces that you mostly see on the desert areas. Now let's uh, put erosion so you can see erosion can change our uh, shape of our train by a lot so be careful with the settings let's get a lot of down cutting what down cutting does is uh, if you imagine like water flowing on the mountain so the more down cutting it is the more the water will penetrate in the terrain uh, these grooves will be uh, deeper the more the down cutting is this is looking good. Uh, we have a nice floor around here. Uh, we can change the rock softness. Uh, rock softness, the more soft the rock is, the easier it will be to break it. And uh, if we decrease it, that means the rock is harder, so it will be harder to break. So we get something like this. And uh, we will also want some uh, sediments so that there are more rocks in our train. So if you see without the sediments, let's say the sediments are lower. This is what we get and if we crank it up high, you'll see there are lots of these deposits that we get. So we'll put it somewhere around here. We don't have many of them, just some of it. Or maybe not much down cutting. When applying erosion, we shouldn't get the, all of the results that we want with just one. We don't have to do that. We can uh, always apply another erosion node so that we get uh, better result. We get those grooves that we created with the first one. 
and erode them a little bit more from this one so let's increase the down cutting a little bit so this is our base mountain that we starting uh, now we'll need the uh, below the mountain where our lakes and stuff would be so you see some of these artifact artifacts that we are getting here we don't have to worry about it because we'll get rid of, rid of them later in the terrain so let's create our water body so there is a node called worse land it will create a uh, this beautiful area which have lots of bumps and uh, lots of detail in the surface maybe we can increase the height uh, decrease the height a little bit so that they are not like these hill structures or yeah this is more flat and we like it now let's let's make some uh, canyons in there so that we can put our uh, lakes in there so for canyons there is canyonizer it's a heavy node and it takes quite some time to build so this is what canyonizer does it takes our base shape and uh, randomly uh, create these uh, valley sort of structures we want some flat areas around here somewhere now i think it's a bit too deep but uh, okay let's maybe go half of what it is let's combine these two so before combining it let's add a transform so we can move around the mountain in our final terrain and let's combine this let's combine with the max so that we get the maximum of the two areas and before combining if you see the mountain is like really close to the ground and uh, not higher up and if you see this then it's already looking like uh, it has this height above the ground so what we can do is in this there is a uh, in the post process sec there is option to drop it to the floor so what it will do is uh, it will take the lowest area and uh, uh, drop the whole terrain to the ground so that the lowest area is touching the ground let's uh, take them both to the almost the same level so the way we raise it is uh, we put a clamp to it and increase the clamp uh, clamp minimum so now above the floor and we just we are just eyeballing it so now they are relatively on the same height so now if we combine with max we get a lot of the, our mountain so let's decrease the scale of the mountain let's say we are looking in the north let's move our mountain somewhere around here so we can change the x and y of the mountain and you see there are some like, artifacts here well, so what we can do is before we combine it we can put uh, zero borders here but zero borders does is it takes like a mask around here and uh, put all of the area outside it uh, flat so if we increase the margin you see that that artifact artifact is gone here so this is looking good so you see this bump right here we can uh, increase the blur so that it blends with the flat area more when we apply it with the when we combine it with the this area then this area has a lot of details so it will be lost when we choose the maximum I think it's a bit too high so let's drop it down with the clamp min now our mountain is around here but it's uh, looking a bit smaller so let's increase the size around here around 86 percent 
we can rotate it but I like these flows around here so it will be going towards the lake I suppose if we have lake around yeah we have lake around here so this is looking good now before we add our lakes let's do a erosion so what this erosion right here is doing say we have some artifacts around here we got rid of them but let's say we have what erosion does is it uh, erodes all of the area here together so it will look more like uh, a combined uh, terrain rather than a, a standalone like mountain is looking different from the terrain so it will blend it all together we don't have to change anything because it's doing a nice erosion now if we visualize the lakes let's see here these are the lakes around here you see they are looking quite nice we can maybe decrease the rain drops so let's say we half it we are applying auto apply so that uh, it's getting applied every time we change anything so let's say you don't want the, the lakes around here so we can make a mask so that uh, it's uh, the rainfall is not around here so what the lake does is it uh, let's say it makes rainfall and the uh, uh, rain flows down from like let's say the rainfall from here will flow down and uh, deposit in the lower areas and similarly the rainfall which is in this area will deposit around here so one way is to put the precipitation amount to zero so that there is no water and turn on flood control what flood control does is before the rain occurs it will have like uh, some water in, as the base so if we increase it by let's say one percent so this water right here is based on the height and not the actual rainfall so it's uh, like uh, in the video games when we place a plane for the our water surface so it's something like that it's placing a plane and since this area is below the plane above the plane I mean so if the plane is like this this area is higher so we are only getting water in this area and not uh, that area so this is quite nice I actually like it let's play with the water floor a little area is looking little bit flat even without the legs so what we'll do is we'll put another erosion here and this time we are not eroding the whole area we are applying uh, area effect precipitation amount which means that uh, the rain for the erosion let's say let's assume water is flowing down here so we can change it based on the altitude so if we were to do like say six percent so it's only doing the erosion in the the water in the top six percent so if we were to let's say 18 percent to make it more visible you can see uh, the erosion is happening around here but not much around here the reason we are getting these is because since the um, it's a simulation the area effect is not a exact mask where the erosion it is it is the area where the let's say the water will fall so when there is erosion around here then the flow uh, the let's say soil will flow down here as well so that's why we are getting these so if we were to increase it that would mean that we are uh, doing the erosion in the lower areas so you can see 
we get more videos and in our areas around here. There is not much difference, so let's delete it. We don't want that. Let's add a surface now. What surface does is that it takes our height map and it increases details in it. So this around here is more detailed than before. If you notice. Now let's apply the rivers lake and now let's apply the river. This here is our river. So the river node would actually carve out rivers and it will also change the terrains along with it. This is, we get nice flows around here. Now we can increase the width of the river so we get more and more but since this area will be covered with the lake so we don't have to worry about this area okay this is nice so we are getting these around here now let's also do a snowfall So similar to what erosion does, snowfall simulates snow on our terrain. So we only want uh, snow on the mountain, not on these areas. So we'll increase the snow line. Snow line means it will only be in areas like this. It will increase the height for which uh, the snow. With our snow line now we can change more settings like the settle so it will settle nicely maybe some melt in the advanced section you can change the angle at which the snow starts to fall so in the less angle it will flow more and more Keep it at default. So this is our basic snow. Uh, similar to erosion, we can have like uh, the snowfall in more than one steps. So let's apply another snowfall. It's a simple terrain, so we don't really need it. The snow in two steps, so it's two only one steps. So this is our final shape uh, with the rivers, lake, and snowfall. In the next video, we'll start texturing the terrain, and um, we'll be combining the lake, river, and snow into the final terrain. In this video, we created our terrain with the river lake snowfall and in the next video we'll start uh, texturing our terrain and combining all of these back into the terrain so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video